what new challenges come up when you are considering outdoor purifiers as compared to indoor purifiers can you just take hive put it outdoors will it work or are there any other challenges that you have to think about so what is what is a good air quality it's where the net concentration of particles or gases in the air when you breathe them for those instances is lower than it should be right um when you put air purifiers outdoors you'll capture pollutants you will not improve air quality those are different mm. and now let's a, a good a good example like you know to to explain this simply um uh, like you have a you have infinite number of pollutants yeah. but you're putting these really tiny machines to try and remove these infinite pollutants and the pollutants continue to get added on so the amount of pollution you're removing through these purifiers is nowhere so like the rate of removal is nowhere close to the rate of introduction in an infinite volume problem yeah. right so that's where the challenge is that if we put our mark 2 series like which is extremely powerful filterless air purifier put in a room it's like in one minute it's clean right it's it's insane but if i even if i put 50 of them outside they'll capture dust very quickly so the chamber will fill up right but will it improve air quality in a large space no because there's more and more pollution that will get filled in that space right so how do you improve air quality outdoor if you go the purifier route there's just a physics constraint where the the distance between two adjacent buildings needs to be lesser than the height of the two buildings like this building and the next one this is a good proof case the distance between the two buildings is lower than the height of the building and if you have enough of these to build a channel i can certainly improve the air quality in that space but that's not the case in every city and yeah. so you can't do it so the the hack is of course to go after the sources to have uh, bio remediation measures not plants plants don't improve air quality but um like bio remediation measures to remove particles at a high rate you can't have filter it has to be filterless solution um for large spaces so like if you have a tiny outdoor restaurant with like a barricade you can do something there uh where you know some air is getting exchanged but not a lot of it so it's more or less still stagnant all right so these are like very isolated cases where outdoor purification will work so if you have these physical barriers you can create that microclimate but large open spaces you can't do you it. can't use no you can't life has it. been a lie yeah so it's a like that's why my mentor ramesh raskar when he's been incredible i think yeah. a lot of what the way i look at the world is because of him right he looks at large difficult problems and he wants to solve it in a week right yeah. uh, he said he said it doesn't have to like i don't have to make 100 million devices in a week i have to build the one device that proves that it works and then uh, get an operational business that can scale this that's his belief system so uh, he is as much an entrepreneur but not a business operator he remains an inventor yeah. he wants to solve many problems which have humanitarian existential impact whether it's in health technologies vision systems you know uh, network ai is massive i think like incubated 300 ai companies this year some obnoxious number right um so it's it's insane for one person to 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 do these things right so um yeah so so that's why i said don't chase rainbows because it's an infinite volume problem you're trying to solve what you want to do is make cleaner accessible where the people are right so humans spend 90% of their time indoors whether it's office home gym you know restaurant uh make the air clean there factories where there's a cost to cost induced by the pollution on the shop floor try to make it a a profitable activity for these people to have these devices on the shop floor right and um it's just compounded over time what we've done it was not evident up front um so i i think outdoor still remains i think we should focus on building the right data tools and we built something called ses which is spatial and environmental sensor which will create real time 3d maps of pollution flow in cities and you can use it for health insurance and fitness and real estate and, and all of those um all of our vision systems are pretty strong where they're able to you know create digital twins of these spaces immediately and simulate air pollution flow so it's like these are the th- things that will add value to the world um i don't know if putting like 100 million devices in new york city will be that that value it will wow. be more like signaling and marketing than actually solving so in delhi they had built this outdoor air purifier the government yeah. bill is making no difference uh, like, like i don't want to <laughs> because it has repercussions for us but like the um uh the honest answer is uh even if you take a jet engine 
um, and you put it in this purifier, you can't pull air from one kilometer away, let alone purify it. And they don't have a jet engine in that air purifier that they've put out. There's a tiny fan. Like imagine, right, we travel by airplanes. Ideally, if we had such a powerful engine, like all the buildings and things would get sucked into the the the, the plane, if, assuming you could pull air from one kilometer away. So like, what are you saying? You can't purify air in one kilometer radius. Mm-hmm.